Heading out of Puerto Villamil is one main road, which climbs for 13 miles to the volcanic slopes of the Sierra Negra volcano. That's the reason this road is so large and well developed, is that it was so key that the people here get access to the highlands. Up here, there's a seasonal thick mist known as La Garua. This mist sits usually between June and December and creates a lush green landscape. It means some townspeople can grow their own food here and farmers can harvest all manner of crops, including water. This is a fog catcher. It's a massive polypropylene net that's sort of hung up here in the highlands between poles and it harvests the fog, which is a wonderful thing, which condenses on the net, drops into the drain here and runs down into the barrel. A fog catcher like this can produce thousands of litres and farmers use it for their crops and animals. But to make it drinkable for people, it has to be cleaned, upping the cost of something most take for granted. The UN estimates that three out of 10 people around the world don't have access to clean drinking water, and it presents huge health issues. That's 2.2 billion people. And as ever, Galapagos is a microcosm of that wider picture. Historically on Isabella, one of the major causes of the undrinkable water has been pollution, particularly from sewage. But in 2016, an innovative low-cost treatment plant was built. And now it's a wildlife tourist attraction. A series of five man-made wetlands have been created next to the small, simple sewage plant. They form a host of new habitats and still provide a solution for the age-old problem. Isla and Molly Halls, when you get a lot of people in a place, what do people produce? Poo. Poo, correct. Poo and wee and other things. The wetland receives partly filtered wastewater and uses the nutrients from it to grow. So you see all this? The grass, that filters effluent, essentially, and it does it in a really natural way. The newly planted native grasses support insects, reptiles, small birds, and something a little larger. Flamingo! Look! Oh, there's a flamingo right here, Mom. There's a flamingo, look, look. look! I see it! Like a headless flamingo. Wow. There's a small population of flamingos on the islands, likely to have flown in from the Caribbean. It's eating! It's eating! It is. And what food is it eating? Shrimps. Pink shrimp. and crabs and little crabs. That's true, Mom. The pink shrimp gives them its colour. They feed by stirring up the mud with their feet and then use their tongues to push the soup through a filter, sieving out their food. It's the biggest treatment plant of its type in Ecuador. And so successful, other Galapagos islands are considering it too for wildlife and tourism. It's amazing. Coming out for a day with the girls to see the poo.